What is up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video we have something special. I'm going to be covering how to scrape emails from Instagram and from other difficult websites using Scrapebox. So, a little bit of background. I, I haven't really done any testing on Instagram scraping until the last couple of weeks or so. Excuse me. I get a ton of requests for scraping from Instagram and most of the time I just say it's not something I, I do. So um, I did some tests recently with my, uh, let's see here, my looking at one of my VPS servers here with my residential proxies from um, <clears throat> Insta or from uh, proxies.com. Pardon me. I also did some tests with my data center proxies from WebShare. For those of who have been watching my uh, previous uh, proxy videos, I, I was with ProxyScrape.com for a bit, but there was issues with consistency and scraping metadata. So I went back to WebShare um, and just sort of cut my quantity in half. So now I run like 250 threads instead of 500. Excuse me. And neither of those work for scraping. Usually, and this is, this has to do with not just scraping from Instagram, guys, but also scraping from any other difficult website um, using Scrapebox. The way I typically would scrape something was I might go, say, um, here's my URL. Yeah, let, let's say it was some, let's say that google.com in this example represents, you know, some other kind of uh, e-commerce website or private directory or, you know, not maybe private, but niche specific directory, for example. Usually if I'm testing a scrape to, uh, you know, the scraping capability of a website, what I'll do is I'll throw that URL in this region and then I'll go to grab check, uh, grab links by crawling a site and I'll drop it into this region. And then I'll just simply do it. And it won't let me do it because there's no HTTPS. And then I'll simply click start. And this is one way I usually test the scraping capabilities of a site. I'll also go into the add-ons and do the link extractor. And I've been doing it like this for years. And the majority of the time, this will tell you if you have the ability to scrape from a website but something I discovered by accident, basically yesterday, was that even if you can't scrape URLs from a site, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't scrape emails, which is really, which is really odd. Um, apparently, I've been making some assumptions that were not accurate. So I, um, I kind of stumbled onto the solution, was which is that the only way to really determine it if you can scrape emails from a page is to actually go into the email scraper, grab emails by crawling sites. So the challenge is if you're dealing with an internal directory and the, the, the use case and my use case um, for, uh, I guess, well, no, not, not my use case, but the, the site that allowed me to discover this was fair.com. I had a potential customer message me about this website yesterday and ask if I could scrape email contacts from the brand pages. So this is a, I think this is just like an e-commerce platform. So if we look at candles or cocktail mixes, um, I think the products are associated with particular distributors. So you see this one says by Miss Betty's original, Ryan Porter, Jeanette Gwynn, etc. Anyways, when I try, so per my routine, I tried to test this website using my typical method of either the grab, grab links by crawling site or the link extractor. I tried it with WebShare data center proxies. I tried it with proxies.com, residential rotators, and neither of them worked. So then, of course, as you guys may have seen in my past videos, what I did is I tried to do a sitemap guess by going fair.com forward slash sitemap.xml. 
and that didn't get, get me anywhere. And what almost always works if this doesn't work is robots.txt, looking at their robots file. And a lot of site owners will put their sitemap in the robots.txt file. So then I grabbed this and I went over into Scrapebox and loaded up the sitemap scraper. And this thing is a monster. This thing can scrape millions of URLs in less than a couple minutes. So it's it's absolutely killer. I was able to scrape the whole sitemap of that website. And then I was able to break it down into uh, only the brand pages. And then I just, I don't know, I don't remember what I was thinking about it kind of just decided that I would just try scraping emails. I don't know what, what caused me to do that. I may have seen some data somewhere and decided to do a test. And I was able to get a number of emails, not very many, um, a lot of duplicates, but I was able to get a small number of unique emails. So that kind of just blew my mind. Um, and that led me to testing things with Instagram. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I tested both my proxy providers with Instagram and I tested uh, with with scraping Instagram URLs and they didn't work. I even went to proxies.com and I rented uh, IPv4 IPs specifically targeting Instagram, a small number, and they still didn't work. So yesterday when I made this discovery using my uh, my case study here with fair.com, I, um, I attempted to just blindly scrape emails from Instagram URLs and it worked. So I'm really excited about this. I want to show you guys. Uh, it's It only requires data center proxies, which is just really tickles me. So what I did in this case was I went to um, my footprint here and I just, I just said fitness Instagram. And then I threw in a small number of cities. Now, if you watch my past videos, you'll know that I use cities for everything. There's a lot of people who scoff at, you know, you can't use cities for e-commerce, which is completely false. I've done case studies. I've tested it myself. If you're not using cities, you're, there's no possible way you can go as deep. So you definitely want to use cities in all your scraping. Anyways, Fitness Instagram yielded me a very small number of viable e uh, Instagram emails. Uh, most of them were um, Gmails. So something I'm experimenting with here, let's do a test in this video. Let's jack the results up to 200. We're going to scrape from Yahoo. And if you're, if you're curious about the source, Google being Yahoo, I, I did do a past video um, that you can check out on uh, comparing the results between Bing and Google. And the case study revealed that Bing was twice as prolific as Google. So it may not be the case for every niche and every, you know, criteria you do, but point is that it's a lot easier to scrape from Bing and from Yahoo. So it's a lot better to use those sources rather than Google. You can watch those videos in, from the past if you want to learn more about that and watch the case study, you know, as I, as I do it live on screen. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and do fitness Instagram. Let's do 200 results and let's do, uh, let's see here, fitness Instagram, such and such. And let's do here. Let's do uh, what's in this temp folder. Clear this temp folder out. Let me paste these locations in. And then let me clear this and let me go at gmail.com. And let me merge with my temp folder. Like so. So now we're going to go fin fitness Instagram, New York, uh, New York, New York, USA at gmail.com. Uh, you cannot use site operators with Scrapebox at scale. Uh, and some, some of you, the, the, I know there's some content out there where some guys are talking about using site operators, but if you do that, you will get banned. Your proxies will get, will get burned really, really quickly. So never use site operators. Uh, I don't recommend, I don't recommend using site operators at a large scale. It, it'll cause you more problems than anything else. It's best to do a broad, a broad, using broad search terms, just like this. So fitness, Instagram, New York, New York, USA at gmail.com. We'll just, we'll, we'll see how it does. So let's switch to our data center, or our residential proxy so we can get the URLs. 
Uh, you definitely need to use residential proxies when you're collecting the Instagram URLs. And then you'll scrape from Instagram using the data center proxy. So let's start harvesting this. Yahoo. Boom. Should take like two minutes or something like that. Let's wait till it gets to 1% and then we'll skip ahead. Oh, jumped up there. Must have been frozen. Let's take let's take a look at the success rates. Yeah, success rates are all green, so I guess it was just a rendering delay. So that's tremendous. And ex exit to main. So sometimes if it jumps ahead, it might be due due to like blocks at, at times. But when you see it's all green like this, that means that it processed it all. So that was just a rendering issue there. So it crunched down, duplicates crunched down to 5,500. And let's organize this here and see. Let's, let's remove, well, we don't need to do all that. Let's just skim here. Let's try removing URLs not containing Instagram. No, that's not it. That's too much of a crunch. Let's try... That's actually lower than my first test. It's probably the at Gmail that caused the problem. So let's try doing just the temp file and give this one a go. That will have fit. And we'll, we'll probably get more Instagram pages, but we'll, we're going to have to sort through. We're going to have to filter through the mails ourselves. I've never done the, the, the at there on the test just with this raw string like I was showing you a second ago. See, we, we've already blown past it here. And that's at 2%. Okay, now it's starting to, to catch up there. Bit of a delay there. Let's make sure it's all green. It's great. Let's exit to main. So that was a higher quantity, interestingly enough. Let's remove URLs not containing Instagram.com. That was still 180. So it might just be something where we have to do a huge, just a huge scale. That was only 50 cities. Obviously, we can go 5K or 43K. But just as an example, let me show you guys by scraping this uh, these pages. So it could be that the at Gmail was working properly. It was just a much smaller sample. Let's load our data center proxies. And then go grab check. Grab emails by crawling sites. Let me make sure this is, let me delete these samples and start. So looks like it's processed most of them, but the, as you can see, there are a small number of emails. So it's not a ton, obviously, but uh, in this test. But the point is, it works. It always it always freezes up a bit at the end of the uh, the last couple threads always get hung up. So give it a second to process. And let's, let's take a look at the result here. So we can see JDR or J J Dream Beauty Co at gmail.com. Uh, see here, explore locations, explore locations, meal pro to go at gmail.com, explore locations, explore locations. Huh, let's look at this. Uh, oh, let's see, explore locations. Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach Iron Gym. Let's take a look at this URL that might allow us to maybe focus on specific types of URLs more and, and increase the speed of our processing stuff and things. Explore locations, Virginia Beach, 
Iron Gym. Let's take a look at the ori original URL list and see if we can spot any patterns. Let's see here. Bad Girl Fitness, Explore Locations. So what I'm going to try to do here, I'm going to try to actually put Instagram.com forward slash explore locations. And I want to see, because that's kind of what I do when I run e-commerce footprints. I do the... Uh, I do some of these these uh, these kinds of structures that are found in the page source for, say, Word, uh, WooCommerce uh, WordPress plugin or the CDN of Shopify.com. So let's grab let's grab that directly from this here. So let's go boom Instagram.com explore explore locations, and we'll put that. Let's do it like this and let's just go fitness and clear this out we'll, we'll just run the same locations and see how it does boom yeah that one <laughs> they didn't like that that's what it looks like to get yourself blocked there because it was way too specific. Um, let me think. Instagram.com, explore locations. Let's try, let's try like this. And let's see how this does. Same blocks. Let's try this, explore. It's not quite as blocked. So let's go back to, let's go back to, let's go down to fitness and see. Uh, let's try fitness trainers like this. Let's see if we're just getting generally blocked. Yeah, it looks like it looks like we might need to wait a minute for oh I'm sorry, you know what? I had the I had the data center proxies, I'm so sorry. My bad guys. Let me switch to my URL proxies. No wonder. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try this again. And that's I guess that's an example of why you can't just use data center. Got to have those residential rotators. Waiting for this to jump up. There it goes. Might not need to do 200 results either. That would be something to test. See if you can just do 50. Yeah, that's perfect. And then let's remove URLs not containing Instagram.com. That one, look at that. That doubled the yield. So, yes, that's definitely what we want to do. So, take note, guys. This is the footprint you want to use Instagram.com, explore look. Actually, let's, let's look back at the uh, email grabber and make sure that all the email. Oh, did I delete it? I may have deleted it. Let's go back here and look. Let me open. I can't open it. I have to restore it. Make sure that they all career explore locations. Explore locations. Explore. Explore. Da, 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 excuse me. Pardon me. So yeah, that's. They're all explore locations pages. Springs Realty. I wonder what the um, 
the metadata is. Let's do a test and uh, this looks like a location. Let's look at this real quick. Just, pure, just purely a location is what I meant. Let's look at this meta title, Colorado, Colorado Springs on, uh, let's see here, Colorado on Instagram, Col Colorado Springs, Colorado. Not sure what's going on here, but um, let's see, let's minimize this. So there's the location, Jacksonville, Florida, Florida Extreme Fitness Center, fitness, 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 there's Dallas, Texas. So it's like there are the, I didn't even know this was a thing with Instagram. There are these location sub slugs. And then looks like, well, the Virginia Beach Iron Gym does not have the word fitness in it, but I guess you could use the URL and you could you could scrutinize for the word fitness or gym. Some of these are just general locations. Let's see. Fit Body Fusion, Mesa, Arizona, Luna Lee Arts, Denver, Colorado. So, so, so that one's applicable even though it doesn't have their specific page of on that location. LA Fitness. Hollywood Boulevard, California. So anyways, I, I think that that footprint though still makes sense. It's just that you, you might want to do some, some further scrubbing. I doubt that it has any kind of other meta description. It clearly had a meta title, which was, let's see, Virginia Beach Iron Gym on Instagram. It's the same. So there is data there, but it seems like it's the same as the slug. So you don't even need to scrape the meta title um, to do your filtering. Basically, once you get those strings from those email scrapes, or I guess it's just at this level, you can, you can filter right here for say fitness or gym to further clean your list from those you know wild locations that, that are to, to just have city names. But some of those did have keyword specific stuff and things. So you might want to grab the emails first and then do the filter because some of them may have the may have fitness in the email possibly. Anyways, let's do a, a much bigger look see here. Uh, let's see fitness, Instagram, fitness. Let's do this and let's do it at the 5k level. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll skip ahead to the final result because uh, we got a 43k level, but that'll take longer. So let's get this going. Do we want to do the? Uh, yes, we want to do this. I'm going to let it run for just a second. Out of curiosity, I just want to see. I just want to see the pace. You see where it, where it, where it hits one percent at. Boom! So about twelve k. So should be one hundred and twenty k or so. I'll let's skip ahead and see how it does. Okay, so we're at one hundred percent. We've got nearly a million URLs scraped here, and let's look at the success rate. A couple of hiccups, but looks like. About 99% successful, huge margin of success. Uh, uh, so exit to main drops down to 230K, so that's good. Now we just need to filter for the Instagram results. URL is not containing Instagram.com. Drops down to 10K. Probably less. Let's copy this to clipboard and let's see, there's tags here. I'm curious to see if we can get anything from pages that are not the explore pages. 
which would be a, a test better done with a more broad scrape probably, but let's just, let's just see how many uh, explore pages are in this sample. So 9K out of 11K. So like a good 1% of the results had the right kinds of pages, which is a, a huge, you know, drop, but it's a specialty method. So it's, it's whatever, right? Let's, um, I'm going to repaste these, or this original sample and let's go ahead and grab some emails and just see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and save this though, or let me, just, let me just export it. So let's call this, uh, fitness. Instagram, uh, USA. Instagram scrape scrub URL. There we go. And let me load in these data center proxies. Start grabbing some emails. Let me clear this, this folder's cleared. And boom. So it's looking pretty good. Let's skip ahead to the point where it's finished and we can take a look at the, the total sample. Okay, so it looks like it's finished. Out of 11K URLs, it grabbed almost 2,000. So let's grab our data folder file, drop it over here, and then delete this. And clear the URLs. Let's drop these in here. Should already be scrubbed. Um, and let's take a look at this in Notepad++. Just glance at these URLs here. Tiger Fitness, LA Fitness, Fitworks Stowe, Tri-Cities High School. No, that's not what we want. Retro Fitness, nice. That's just image dimensions. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's a real estate page. Let's look at these URLs and see if there's anything different we can spot. Explore locations. Let's try scr scrubbing everything except the... Uh, or let, let's try ex, uh, scrubbing everything that contains explore just out of curiosity. So just one, and that was the careers page. So they're all from those types of pages. Let's see what happens if we remove URLs not containing fit. So that's a fourth of the sample. And then let's see, URL is not containing gym. Let's go back to that um, notepad plus plus. Here, let me just do this. Be cool if we could scrub things that don't have that final forward slash, you know, like a location, and then it shows the actual place. Be convenient. Skateland USA, Fitness Park, Boot Camp. 24 hour fitness. So that'd be, a, that'd be something to think about how to scrub out the general location contacts. Don't think there's a way to do that. I think the only way to, to go about it would be to scrub for 
specific keywords. So, anywho, but you definitely, you guys can definitely see it works. We can get emails. We can get viable emails from Instagram. Uh, you just got to go through a ton of URL processing and, um, it's probably fit just scrubbing for scraping for fitness in general is probably not the way to go. I just, I just kind of pulled that out of the air. Maybe fitness trainers would be better. Maybe fitness, uh, models or like, it just depends on your goal, obviously, but Probably better to do something slightly more specific that would be more Instagram oriented. So uh, let's try a brief uh, additional test, and we won't we won't go so far here. I'll end it after this, but let's try fitness trainers. And let me see. Let me label this one. URL and email. Just put this up here. Let's try fitness trainers and let's do 200. That's 5K. Let's just go. About that far. Yeah. And test. Oh, wrong proxies. I usually uh, configure a automator template. So I'm a bit absent-minded about that. Usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll open up the automator and load up one of my templates over here. Like uh, depending on which platform is, 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 um, give me 100 at the moment and then i will tweak it to adjust the results and then the location file if i have a temp location file i want to run and then i'll save it under my temp uh automator file so those those are kind of templates for then running it as like a custom automator sequence and i covered those sequences in previous videos so you guys can check those out to to learn more about that let's uh give this a test there he goes looks clean and then let's scrub out everything that doesn't have instagram.com wow only a hundred jeez hmm tags fight I want to look at this curious if there's anything let's see if there's anything that doesn't doesn't contain locations so remove URLs not containing locations we've got 1967 locations one URL okay so that's what we found before so it's all the explore locations pages let's remove URLs not containing explore. So about 90. So uh, yeah, anyways, it's it's not it's certainly not very big numbers, guys, but um, it does do it does work. So that would be something that'd probably be something where I would try to roll in 43 K cities. That was actually less than the general fitness but I'd probably just do as many locations as possible. I would, would probably want to test also the number of results because I 
question whether or not you need to go 200 deep because if you can cut that down to like 50 for example then you could obviously cut it to one fourth the processing time but anyways that's pretty much it i appreciate you guys watching um you can use the, the, the main takeaway here is not necessarily just explicitly scraping Instagram. It's the fact that you can't really know what sites that you're able to capable of scraping unless you actually do an email scrape test because you can't with other utilities in Scrapebox, you can't necessarily scrape the URLs. Some parts of pages, excuse me, render in JavaScript, which to my understanding, Scrapebox can't see. Uh, can't pull information from. So sometimes when you're testing whether or not you can scrape a site, you there are certain things you can't scrape, like you know the the links, for example. But you you may still be able to scrape the the URLs, and so you know you you or not the URLs, sorry, the the emails. So if you can find a way to get the URLs through like a sitemap, for example, or by using search engines, um. To, uh, to help you find entities that, that have the ability to be scraped, then then you can you may still be able to get emails from those pages. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.